This video continues the review of the monitor for the PC2000-11. Here we will show how the operator uses the operator's menu to program the monitor and set up the machine to his individual preferences. Remember, an earlier video reviewed the general layout of the monitor. Now let's look at the operator's menu of the monitor. Press the F6 function switch to open the operator's menu. The first tab of the menu is Energy Saving Guidance. The menu item for Operations Records is highlighted in yellow, so press the F6 function switch to open that menu. Operation Records with data on working hours and fuel consumption help the operator judge the machine productivity and fuel economy for the last 24 hours of operation. We are back at the first tab. Scroll down to the menu item for Eco Guidance Records and press the F6 function switch. The screen for the Eco Guidance Records displays the number of times that the advisories were displayed on the monitor. Going back to the first tab, scroll down to the menu item for Average Fuel Consumption Record. Press F6. The average fuel consumption will be displayed in a graph for the last 12 hours. Push the F2 switch and the display will transition to the fuel consumption for the last seven days. Push the F1 switch if you want to clear the data and start over graphing new fuel consumption data. Back at the first tab, scroll down to the menu item for configurations and press F6. The operator can select the timer to record data every day. The operator can also choose to split the day and begin timing fuel consumption with new data. He might want to do this if he is moving to a different application during the day. Select the split time record and return to operation records. Notice the date and time of your split time record. Stop the record after you have the data you want, and then start a new split time record. Return to the home screen and notice the different display of the average fuel consumption gauge. Back at the configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for eco gauge display and press F6. The eco gauge display can be turned on or off. Turn it off and the gauge will no longer be displayed. Back at the configuration tab, scroll to the menu item for eco gauge display fuel target value and press F6. The operator can decide what target value he is most interested in. Back at the configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for reset eco gauge. The eco gauge can be reset if needed. Back at the configuration tab, scroll to the menu item for eco guidance display and press F6. The operator can turn off the friendly advice messages if he chooses to. Back at the configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for eco guidance display at key off and press F6. The operator can turn off the friendly advice messages that appear after the engine stops. We are back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the machine settings tab. The first menu item is economy mode adjustment. Press F6 to select this item. There are two different settings for consuming less fuel. The higher the number, the greater your fuel savings. Back at the machine settings tab, scroll down to the menu item for automatic low idle setting. The engine RPM will automatically decelerate to the low idle settings if the controls are not actuated for 30 seconds. The operator can turn off this feature if he chooses to. Back at the machine setting tab, scroll down to the menu item for fan reverse mode and press F6. The fan reverse mode is intended for blowing dirt out of the radiator compartment. Lower the lock lever, run the engine at an idle, and press the F6 function switch. It will take about 15 seconds to complete the fan reverse process. Engine RPM can then be increased. The control levers should not be operated while the fan is reversing. Reduce the engine RPM before stopping the fan reverse process. Back at the machine setting tab, scroll down to the menu item for auto idle stop timer setting and press F6. The engine will shut down automatically after idling for the time selected. This feature can also be turned off. Electrical systems continue running on battery power, so be aware and avoid discharged batteries. Back at the machine setting tab, scroll down to the menu items for reset truck counter one or reset truck counter two. The operator can count the number of trucks he has loaded. He can do this for two separate trucks. The operator can reset each of the counters back to zero if he chooses to. A lamp will illuminate on the monitor 
to advise the operator when an automatic regeneration occurs. If the operator is concerned about the extra heat, he can scroll to the After Treatment Devices Regeneration tab and disable the regeneration. In most instances, extra heat is not a concern, so let the regeneration continue while you keep digging. The regen will discontinue automatically, and the lamp will stop illuminating. Occasionally, a lamp will illuminate on the monitor to advise the operator to perform a manual stationary regeneration. Before engaging the manual regen, lower the work equipment to the ground, reduce the engine RPM to low idle, and lower the lock lever to the locked position. Navigate to the After Treatment Devices tab and select the menu item for manual stationary regeneration. The operator can choose to disregard the requested regeneration and keep on working. But it is important that the regen be completed later, either at the end of the current shift or at the beginning of the next shift. Otherwise, soot continues to accumulate in the DPF, raising the soot level and the urgency of the warning notice. Scroll horizontally to the maintenance tab. The specified maintenance intervals are listed along with the time remaining until the maintenance item should be completed. A maintenance lamp will appear on the main monitor when the remaining time is within 30 minutes. The operator then schedules the maintenance and programs the monitor to indicate that a scheduled maintenance has been completed. Press and hold the F6 function switch, then the reset screen appears. Press the F6 switch again, and you are asked again if you want to reset the maintenance item. Press the F6 switch again to reset the maintenance item. We are back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the monitor setting tab. Press the F6 switch to select the menu item for screen adjustment. This is where the operator adjusts the brightness of the monitor screen. Scroll horizontally to brighten or dim the screen. Notice that this is for daytime use. For nighttime use, press the lamp switch to the moon position. Press F6 to complete your selection. Back at the monitor setting tab, Scroll to the menu item for screen adjustment camera and press the F6 switch. This is where the operator adjusts the brightness for the rear view camera. Scroll down to the menu item for clock adjustment and press F6. The first menu item is GPS synchronization, which uses the contracts modem for determining time and date. Notice the menu items for the time and date are grayed out. Press the F6 switch and turn off the GPS synchronization. With synchronization off, the time and calendar are no longer grayed out. Scroll down to the menu item for calendar and press F6. The calendar can be manually adjusted to the proper day. Scroll down to the menu item for time and press F6. The time can be manually adjusted. Scroll down to the menu item for 12 hour, 24 hour mode and press F6. The operator can select the 12 hour AM PM method of a typical American clock, or he can select the 24-hour military method of time. Scroll down to the menu item for daylight saving time. The operator can turn this feature on or off. Back at the monitor setting tab, scroll down to the menu item for language and press F6. The operator can select between 27 different languages for the monitor display. We are back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the message menu. Your Comtrax administrator can send the machine a message. A green colored envelope appears on the monitor screen when this occurs. This concludes the video for the operator's menu on the monitor. For additional information, please reference the operation and maintenance manual or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.komatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.